Hello and welcome to Latest Maths International School Basic 6 online tutorial. Our subject for today is our world and our people. Our world and our people. And the strand is strand 5. Strand 5. My global community. My global community. And the substrand is substrand one. Substrand one. Our neighboring countries. Our neighboring countries. And the indicator is indicator one. Indicator one. How Ghana cooperates with other nations. How Ghana cooperates with other nations. We know Ghana is an African country located at the western part of Africa. Ghana has 92,099 square miles around its borders with over 30 million residents. Ghana also has some close neighbors. Let's look at some of the close neighbors of Ghana. Togo to the eastern part of Ghana. If you look at the eastern borders of Ghana, we share boundaries with Togo. So Togo is our close neighbor at the eastern part. Burkina Faso to the northern part of Ghana. At the northern part of Ghana, we have Burkina Faso there. So Burkina Faso is our close neighbor at the northern part of Ghana. Côte d'Ivoire to the western part of Ghana. At the western part of Ghana, we have Côte d'Ivoire there. And for that matter, Côte d'Ivoire is our close neighbor at the western part. To the southern part, we have the Gulf of Guinea. That is not a country, as we said earlier on. Gulf of Guinea is the sea, that is the ocean. Good. Now, let's come to how Ghana cooperates with other nations. How Ghana cooperates with other nations. We are going to look at some ways and means through which Ghana cooperates with its neighbors, be close neighbors and distant neighbors. The first point is through trade. Ghana exports some goods and commodities to other neighboring countries, and Ghana also imports goods from other neighboring countries, be close neighbors and distant neighbors. Through trade, we cooperate with other nations. Two, participating in international meetings. Participating in international meetings. Ghana attends meetings at the African level and worldwide, like ECOWAS meetings. We mostly see our president representing Ghana at the ECOWAS level. In ECOWAS meetings, United Nations meetings. Our president do represent Ghana over there at the United Nations meetings. Through this, Ghana cooperates with other nations because at that place, Ghana's president representing Ghana help other countries to overcome their challenges and they also help us through psychological means and other means. The next point is true sports. True sports. True sports, Ghana cooperates with other nations by hosting and attending international games like the Olympic Games, the World Cup, Cup of Nations, that is the African Cup. If we can record back at 2008, the CAN 208 was hosted in Ghana here. We hosted the African Cup of Nations here. True sports, Ghana cooperates with other nations. Now, our next point is peacekeeping. Peacekeeping. Other neighboring countries experience wars, that is civil war, and other ethnic wars. Through the ECOWAS, Ghana represents itself there with soldiers to help the ECOWAS to keep peace in other countries like the Liberia, Sierra Leone, and other countries that has ever experienced war. Through this, Ghana cooperates with other nations. The next point is establishment of embassies. Ghana establishes her own embassies in other countries to represent Ghana over there. And other countries also 
establish their embassies in Ghana to represent them over here. Through this, we cooperate with those nations. Now, let's go to the next point. The next point through which Ghana cooperates with other nations is through education. Through education. Through exchange programs and scholarships. We do exchange programs. Students from Ghana travel to various countries to learn and bring them back to help their nation. Other students from other countries too travel to Ghana to come and learn through our tourist sites and other educational aspects to go and help their countries. We also give them scholarships and we also give our students scholarships. Let's move on. There are some reasons why Ghana should cooperate with other nations. There are some importance. Let's move on. Reasons why Ghana should cooperate with other nations. Reasons why Ghana should cooperate with other nations. One, the first reason why Ghana has to cooperate with other nations is inter-ethnicity. Inter-ethnicity. There are some ethnic groups found in Ghana here and their part can also be found in other neighboring countries. So if we don't cooperate with them, those ethnic groups are going to have some strict division between them. Example, we have Ewes in Ghana and Togo, as well as Benin. Ewes in Ghana, Togo and Benin. The same language spoken in Ghana is being spoken in Togo and Benin. So they are all one ethnic group. There is a need for us to cooperate with those countries so that those ethnic groups can also link up. Two, we have interdependency. Interdependency. Petroleum from Nigeria, tomato from Burkina Faso. We do import things from other neighboring countries, like petroleum from Nigeria, tomato from Burkina Faso. Ghana cannot provide all her needs, as we also supply other countries with other materials, that is exportations. So we need to cooperate with them so that in times of difficulties we can also get other commodities from them, being finished goods or raw materials. The next one is assistance from other countries. For Ghana to get assistance from other countries, this is also a key reason why Ghana has to cooperate with other nations. Assistance in terms of difficulties like disease outbreak, monetary aspects, that is financially, we get a lot of assistance. Sometimes we do see doctors from Cuba to come and assist our doctors in Ghana here, and Ghana also exporting nurses to assist other countries. Now,